the experience of God in the here and now, that is the grand adventure that the mystic pursues. Today I will continue to take up the path that has led the Christian mystics to that very goal. I take it up so that you can follow that path very specifically in their footsteps, and that you can also know that in the dispensation of Aquarius, there are some of the practices of the saints that have been superseded by the teachings of Saint Germain. So far, I have discussed two elements common of Christian mystics. The first is their pursuit of the indwelling presence of God. The Christian mystics believe that all men by nature are like God and that within everyone there is a spark of the divine. They also believed in the indwelling Christ. This Christ, they said, can be formed or born within each of us. The second element common to the mystics is their pursuit of direct intercourse with God through contemplation and prayer. I mentioned to you yesterday that I call this contemplation meditation, and the forms of prayer so essential are devotional prayer, whereby we give our love and our all to God, and invocative prayer, whereby we invoke or call forth the allness of God and his love. The prayer of the mystics was not just the repetition of a prescribed set of devotions. The mystics sought and found a profound and unceasing communion with God that literally set their souls on fire. The third element common to the mystics is their pursuit of a threefold path of ascent to God. This threefold path consists of, as I said, purgation, or the purging of the soul of all that is unlike God, illumination, displacing ignorance and the poisons with the light of God, and finally union, the union of the soul with her Lord. These stages can take place simultaneously, and not every mystic experiences every stage. Don't think of these mystics of centuries ago. You are the mystics of the Aquarian age. You are the mystics of this decade and this hour. Yesterday, I began to discuss with you the process of purgation. The mystics described the purgative stage as a battle between the false self and the true self. Don't ever assume that you have passed that stage. It's a very dangerous assumption to make because the fallen self, the carnal mind, and the dweller will never say die. So always assume that in the most unlikely moment, the false self is going to pop up and put down the true self before you even realize it. The path of purgation is a path of the imitation of Christ. When you imitate Christ and you mirror his life and work and his great love and healing power, you are displacing the not-self with a true Christ-self, and thereby that Christ is being formed in you. But even amidst the greatest sufferings, the mystics saw that path as one of pure joy. Today we have the violet flame, the gift of beloved Saint Germain, to help us through the purging process. And the violet flame is surely the joyous flame, the all-consuming flame of God. It is our greatest comfort sent to us from the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, and from Saint Germain. And so I'd like to pick up where I left off yesterday, which was with the subject of fasting. All of the saints and mystics of the ages have fasted as a very natural inclination and response to God, the, the desire to be self-emptied for a greater and more profound and sensitive communion with God. It is absolutely true that when you set aside the denser foods, you have a much greater inner peace and a greater communion with the lights of all eternity. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in new thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse.
For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030 USA.